So this is my topic two, Commedia dell'arte, of my context and research section. Um, in terms of Commedia dell'arte, I just wanted to do a bit where I refreshed my mind of what Commedia dell'arte is and how it relates to our pantomime. So Commedia dell'arte uh, roughly translates to comedy of the art. And instead of focusing on the contents of a play itself, it focuses more on the manner of the play and the way that it's performed um, instead of the actual storyline itself. Even though Commedia dell'arte was focused in Italy from the 14th to the 18th century, it really flourished um, between the 16th and 17th century and throughout its 400 year period it sort of moved over from Italy into other countries. Now the basis was that once the scenario or canvas was in place, and the piece were, that, that the canvas and the scenario of the piece was figured out, it gave actors the opportunity to heighten and embellish as their characters would. So it was about the actors finding who their character is and developing this so that, again, it refers back to it not being focused on the story, but in fact the characters within this story and how they carry the story through. The actors had to be so precise and the specific roles they took required them to study their characters hard and get to know them. Now, I think this really struck in my mind as it links to what we're doing at the moment, especially with characters like the Dame. They're such residential and um, classical panto characters that they can't be played lightly. You've got to know exactly who they are, why they're who they are, and it's sort of like this 3D... Um, structure to your character. It's said that these actors were comedians who changed the standard of acting and stamped their parts giving their characters individuality and vibrance. So it's all about these actors taking these huge parts um, and it refers to some like the masks and sort of these really key residential parts and developing these so that they are individual but within this huge big story. Um, Commedia dell'arte was said to have introduced the professional actor to Europe and obviously it's spread from Italy and is now still seen, the basis of it is still seen in our own theatres now such as our pantomime. So in terms of what I took from this information, I think that to me this just meant that I need to look at my character and look at what's so shy, maybe how she would have been portrayed in a more classical Commedia dell'arte way and maybe not focus so much on the story but how she fits into the story and how she makes this story and in terms of my own work I want to make sure that this is resonant, resonating in my own work so what I'm going to do is m sort of make a mind map um, of so shy and her character and sort of get this structure of why she is the way she why she acts the way she is who she is her personality traits why she has these personality traits um going alongside with the context of aladdin and her within the piece but without making it about the story but more about my character within the story and the individuality of her and maybe looking at other characters like the Dame, which, as I said, is a really residential and key part of pantomime. Um, yeah, so an example of this in my research is going to be I'm going to make a mind map of So Shy and sort of her character as a model and as a structure and build on those layers of um, why she is who she is. Um, looking forward to next time reflecting on this research I want to look more at characters within Commedia dell'arte I've seen mentioned the mask so I want to look more into that and have a look maybe how that can relate to our work in our pantomime today